Okay, moving on now to part three of the series. Part three is where we are adding a 2-5 towards the end of the sequence. So that is on line three, if you are looking at um, the notes from, uh, from my website. So here we go uh, from the beginning. One, two, three, four, F7 to B flat seven, F7 again for two measures. Flat seven, two measures. Here's F seven. Here's G minor. C seven. So the G minor, I played it here. Um, another option could have been to play it up here but on a classical guitar, it may not be the easiest um, choice. But this is, it's still possible. If you play an electric, obviously, you'll grab that chord easily. So my G minor seven would be here, and my C seven would be here, and then my F. So the last three, um, sorry, the last four measures um, of that sequence could be this. G minor, two, three, four, C seven, two, three, four, F. And then back to the top here. Okay, so now, um, now that we are adding uh, a few more chords, it would be a good idea to um, think of other voicings. Instead of the, those big all, um, big old voicings of four note chords, uh, we can edit them. For instance, for my F7, I can simply remove this duplicate root that I have here on the second string, right? So instead of this chord, I can now play this. And it gives me the, um, the bass note, the root, the third, and the seventh of the chord. And that's really all I need to clearly define my F7. Now, eventually, we can add nines or fifths, thirteens, what have you, to these basic chords. But that's not the purpose of this um, little series um, we're talking about today. Just want to talk about the basic chords. So, um, edited version, the edited version of the F7 would be this. The edited version of the B flat chord would be this. So, same thing here. You see. This is the complete chord, and if we get rid of all the unnecessary notes, we are left with this, which is, in this case, the B-flat root, A-flat is the seventh of the chord, and D is the third of the chord. And it's particularly nice when you move from that F7 to that B-flat dominant. See, these two notes, the three and the seven, of the F slightly uh, slightly move just by one fret uh, to turn into the, um, the B flat dominant. So it gives me this F7, B flat 7, F7 for two measures. Here's B flat for two measures again. F7. Now my G minor, I can easily play here C7. And then F7, turn around. Notice I can um, I can move my bass to the fifth again. So F7, F7 with F and I'm sorry, F7 with C in the bass, and then going to the B flat. So this was part three, and stay tuned, move on to part four, where we are going to um, add a little bit more chords. Um, I do want to mention here um, that um, we can say that we have crossed the line into jazz territory here. 
uh, by simply adding that little 2-5 at the end. Okay, so um, the, um, that's sort of the, the limit here of the, the simple blues going now into um, more interesting, more movement, more colors, more excitement. Okay, so stay tuned next for number four.